Singleton design pattern is most popular design pattern among software developers. But what makes it most popular? And answer would be its conceptual simplicity. But if you already know singleton design pattern, then stay tuned till end of the video because we are going to see when to write eager linear slide singleton and lazy linear slide singleton. How to write thread shape singleton design pattern? We are going to see that in next few minutes. Let's take an example of in-memory cache. We want to create one in-memory cache where we can store temporary data and this data can be accessed globally inside application. Whoever in application should be able to write and read data to and from this cache. Ok, how do we go about this? For this, we can write singleton design pattern. As name suggests, with singleton design pattern, we structure class in a way that only one object can be created for a particular class. Let's write cache class to store key value pairs. We first create private static instance of cache class. Then we lock constructor of this cache class. So no one from outside this class can create object. And finally, we write a get instance method to create object of class in controlled manner. We first check if instance is already created or not. If not, then we create instance and return it. That's it, our singleton class is ready. Now, only one object will be available throughout application. But what's use of this empty class? It doesn't have state or behavior. Let's add some features to this class. Let this class hold one map and this map will store data in key value pair. To store and return data, we need put and get method respectively. Now we will test the singleton class. Let's create demo class with main method. Here we will try to get instance of cache and perform some operations. First we will store key and value. Here key will be channel and value will be dispatch. Finally let's print channel name using get method. Now if we run our program channel name will be printed. So when exactly object of this cache class created? It will be created whenever first time get instance method called. It won't be created if no one calls get instance method. So this arrangement is called as lazily initialized singleton design pattern. In contrast, we have eagerly initialized design pattern. It means we create singleton object as soon as application is started. As we know, static instances are initialized on application startup. So eagerly initialized objects are created on startup. Let's change our singleton class to support eagerly initialization. To do this, we don't check or create object inside get instance. So let's remove that code from our class. And whenever we are declaring our object, we just create object in that place only. Now our singleton is eagerly initialized. We can see this by putting some logs inside constructor and method. Now if we run our program, our singleton is initialized even before main method is called. As of now, problem with our singleton is it is not thread safe. What does it mean? In multi-threaded environment, there is no guarantee that only one object of catch a class exists. Why is that case? Let's see by creating 100 threads and let them access get instant method of our catch a class. Here, let's move our singleton related code from main method to runnable. Let's use executor series with thread pool to create 100 threads. And in for loop, let's submit 100 runnable tasks. To find out how many objects of our cache class created, we can write one log statement inside constructor. Now let's run this program. We can see instead of just one log statement, we have few of them. It means our singleton pattern is broken. How to fix this? Simple way is to make our get instance method synchronized by defining synchronized keyword in front of method. That's it. If we run our program now, we can see only one log statement. Now problem with this is every call of get instance method is synchronized. This is bad idea because it will slow down our application. How do we fix this? Instead of synchronizing method, we can synchronize block. Let's do this correctly. First let's check if instance is available for use. If yes, then let's early return instance and finish. Now if instance is not ready, then first synchronize instance creation block and then create instance. Finally, return the instance. Here, one catch is if more than one thread already crossed if condition and waiting outside synchronized block. 
then they might again enter inside block and create one more instance. To fix this inside block, we can again check if instance is null or not. If instance is null, only then we create instance. That's it for today. If you learned something new, then please like this video and subscribe. Thank you.